Let's dive a little bit deeper into the action right now with all of our market reporters. Abigail, what are you watching? Well, Romain, I'm thinking about today's best sector, energy. Let's check in on the technicals. And in the near term, there may be a continued pop. You can see that the bigger message of this chart, not great. Check it out. From the peak to trough, down about 30%, not so far from those lows. But what could be encouraging, Mike, for the near term, take a look at the RSI coming off the bottom. If it can break that near-term downtrend, it suggests that we may just see uh, the energy sector pop back up toward that 200 day moving average. But again, the bigger message here over the last year, energy basically in a bear market. Whenever you have one sector in a bear market, it typically is not good overall, but that's a longer term frame. Again, near term energy may just pop bullishly higher, Mike. Well, thanks, Abigail. Well, the risk on rally today really took a detour around Brazil. Uh, the Brazilian ETF, the EWZ, is down about 2%. That's the worst performance for a major ETF of at least $5 billion in the U.S. today. And the real was one of the weakest currencies among emerging market currencies, down about 1.5%. Uh, banks such as Banco Bradesco and Banco do Brasil were among the biggest uh, drags on the Ibovespa index today. It's interesting. There doesn't seem to be really any Brazil-centric news, but Brazil does tend to trade in sympathy with Argentina. And while Argentinian markets were closed today for a holiday, there was some troubling news over the weekend. The economy minister resigned, and both Fitch and S&P downgraded Argentina further into junk territory. So, Renita, it looks like tomorrow is shaping up to be a bad day for Argentina when it reopens after a holiday. Well, Mike, as that risk on sentiment dominated, investors did not find a need for safe havens like gold. And as a result, gold has taken a turn for the worse, dropping more than 1.3% during the day. Now it's at around 1.17%. And we know it's at the lowest since early August. Risk on sentiment comes as U.S. President Donald Trump signals progress on trade negotiations with China and also encouraging in this long-awaited U.S.-China trade pact, the U.S. is extending exemptions that protected networks and other U.S. customers from a ban on doing business with China's Huawei technologies.